What's up YouTube and welcome to this react tutorial and this tutorial is gonna be different from other videos because uh, I'm not going to burden you with all the new react concepts uh, you will get them eventually but for now as a beginner you need to understand how the react works and uh, what are the uh, pros and cons of using and what advantage we gain from using the react and even if you are new to the node.js concept you will find this video insanely beginner friendly so let us begin so the first step is to download the node.js application so go to the node.js website and download this recommended for most users after the download install it like a normal software now Create a new folder and we will keep all the react project files in this folder. So there are specific rules for writing the name of this folder. We will right click and open with code. If you don't have this option, reinstall your visual code. So if you are not getting the open with code option, install the visual code again and check all of these options. Open a new terminal npx create react app and uh, then we have to give the address I will type dot which means install it here so it will install the react project files in this folder that we just created y enter So uh, at the end of the installation, if you see this happy hacking, then you have successfully uh, created a react project. Uh, I don't know why they write this happy hacking. This is actually kind of scary, uh, but whatever, let's begin. Now after this, we don't uh, actually need the console. We need to run the project once. Uh, so go into the run, start debugging or just press F5, choose Chrome. Uh, this script will be generated but we don't need this script actually uh, for starting a node.js project you need to go to the console and type npm start but we have a shortcut we need to replace this content which is uh, created when you uh, press start debugging the first time this launch.json is created so replace all of its content with uh, these lines I will also put them in the description Alt Shift F So uh, these lines uh, just say that uh, whenever F5 is pressed write npm start so it's like a little shortcut Now when I press uh, F5 So this is the default page that comes with the react project. Now the good thing with uh, react is we don't need to refresh the page. Whatever changes we made to the project, it's gonna update itself. So now let us look at the project files, but you actually don't need to worry about most of them. This launch.json just contains the logic for the application to launch. Then this node modules folder uh, contains all the modules that are needed for the uh, react application to work. This public uh, folder contains this uh, index.html which have all the links and the meta tags that we need for our app. Now we don't change this much, we keep it as it is. Uh, our real concern is this src folder so you can see that uh, the src folder also has a lot of files but you only need to worry about this app.js and this index.js so first uh, let me open the app.js and uh, you can see that there is some html written uh, in a javascript function this is uh, actually called jsx uh, which is a react extension 
for writing HTML code uh, inside a JavaScript file. So we can write the HTML as it is uh, in a JavaScript file, uh, which we do a lot in uh, in these React apps. But there is a function called app, and it is getting exported. So now let us uh, see the index.js. Here we are importing from the app.js and using it here. So this uh, app is actually a component which uh, comes with the uh, new React project and components are actually the basic concept that you need to pick in order to work with React.js. So this is what uh, what is called a component. So basically whatever is written in the app.js, it is treating it as a single element. So you can uh, you can say that uh, it's our custom tag. And you can see that there is this function that we are using, which is react dom dot render. And we are rendering this app and uh, we are saying that this app will go inside the root element. So previously in the public index.html, we saw that there is a div root div which will contain all of our components or you can say all of our HTML that we will gonna write in those components. So whatever we write in the react component, they will ultimately wind up getting here. So inside this root div. So now getting back to the app.js and remove all of this and just write hello world and and this gets automatically updated as I said. So uh, I will come into the inspect and show you the result of our react app. Inside the body there is this root element and our paragraph tag is inside this root element. So the react app is converted into this simple HTML. Now let us create our own component. So uh, for that I need to create a folder components inside the src and in this component I will create another folder heading and another folder text box. So first let me come into this uh, heading and create a file index.js and in this index.js I will create my component. So first of all I need a function named as heading and uh, it will take a argument props. This props is actually all the properties that we need regarding this heading component and you will understand its use uh, in just a minute. So we have a heading tags from h1 to h6 but I want to create a single heading tag uh, and give it an attribute of small large or extra large. So I am basically creating my custom tag. I will create a switch statement and props dot size. This will come, this will go inside this switch statement. And uh, I will also create a size variable. So uh, if the case, if the size is SM, then size becomes 18 pixels. So now uh, I will return uh, these brackets are necessary when we are returning the result of a component. So I am returning a simple paragraph tag but some style applied to it. So in uh, JSX you define the style in this form. These curly braces indicates that I am using a variable, a property or anything which is not related to this HTML syntax. So currently I want to use the font size property and you can see that the Visual Studio is showing me these suggestions. So uh, in JSX you write the CSS style tag like this. So my font size is gonna be so this component will return this paragraph element. So uh, this is our heading component, but we also need to export this. So export default 
and the name of the component. Now our component is ready to use. Import heading from dot slash which means current directory. So the app dot js in, is inside the src the current directory and then inside the components and there the index.js so i only need to write the index now i can use this heading component so and size is equals to let's say large but i also need to give it a text so text equals to but uh, we didn't give it a text attribute so it will not work so inside my heading index.js i will use this remember that currently i am inside a, a html tag so i need to write these brackets for the uh, props to work so props dot text there is a little mistake here this should be colon so this is our uh, heading tag and if i write let's say 3xl and press save you can see that the registration gets bigger and uh, i have this cleaner look I don't have to mention any CSS or any other things. I just need to give it a size and a text and uh, it will prepare my heading for me. So this is the main advantage of using the React library. So you can uh, make your own components, break your application into those components, design those components in the way that you like. Make any type of components that can help you uh, in your application and you can also reuse these components so uh, if you have created the, this heading component you can just uh, copy this folder and paste it uh, inside any of your project and this will work just fine so this is all for the video if you like it uh, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time